Alright, so how did the name Hatras come about? Well, Hatras, to be honest, you know, you know, say, majority of my fans are my female fans, but I never used to sing a lot of female songs. Never used to sing a lot of female songs because I never really see the need for it. Because when I just start, it's like, I have backed up emotions when I try to express myself in a fire way. So I'm born this, but you know what I mean? But the girls, them always like me. Like, when every, every one of my stage show them, them always like me. So from there, so I start to, like, my horizon start to expand when I start to say, yeah, well, I have to sing some girls' song, you know. I would call me and say, I rest I have to sing some girls' song. So I start to sing some girls' song because the audience start to expand because you start to travel. And then you start to have different perspective where you say, eh, you sing Mama, you alone, but a girl appear for you, the girl, them we love. Because you deal with fans now. If you have 2,000 people at 10 years, you have 2,000 two, two different characters. That, And each character comes for something different. You understand? So, that is how, as the knowledge grew up, that is how I start to put different type of songs in my set. And, you know, the girl, the man, say, oh, I love that you, them, love him, bow leg, him, space teeth, rare, rare, rare. And one day, I did one studio, I think, I think, I did, um, um, 007, Soul Pipe Studio. And Ari Tadler come around and Ari Tadler said, Yeah, right now, you're know, the one tip. You have all different types of ras, but uh, you are the hot ras. You know, say, You're going down the place, so you're the hot ras. And from there, some start to say, I'm an hot ras. You know what I mean? Some start to hashtag it, and you know, girls them like it, and people start to use it in all different concepts and content, and more than one place it. Okay. And, and any hobbies that you subscribe to, or is it just. Oh, music. It's a spontaneous person, so depends on the vibe. Alright. So we've noticed that you've been going live on Instagram lately. Is this because of COVID? Are you trying to stay connected with the fans? Well, from COVID kicking, you know, from COVID kicking, you know, we're the first artist who really start a live program still, you know, different from my program derived from um, Platinum Kids. Because when we really look, I see a lot of selectors start and I'm a play music. And then, like, other artists would have start when I'm a play the music. So I said, this is a time where you can have conversation with people. Because okay. a lot of artists forget the significant and how imperative your fans is are to you. You know what I mean? You have a lot of, you have a lot of artists out there who they don't really understand them not really understand, or maybe them understand, but them choose to be different. Like, your fans is everything, like, to and them make you have everything. You know what I mean? So, when you don't correspond with them, when you, when you go stage, you don't take pictures, when you don't do all of these things, like, you defeat the purpose of being the person who people idolize or people look to. To we, it might just be music, I would do it, and we do it gradually every year, I would do it, and we do it, but to other people is inspiration, you understand? So I just choose to be to create a topic where it's it can be we can have a debate about it and I create quarantine bond with a couple of my co hosts them, Randy Rich, me myself, Selector Princess, Dana Lee, Roshibo, Nika. You know what I mean? I create it and it just spread like a wildfire and then after that now I start to so yeah, you know, so we can approach the fans them different because if you understand before this look up live thing now, you couldn't really reach out to people like live. And then after I start that now and COVID start to boil long now, I decide to say, you know what? I'm not staying in Jamaica, you know. <laughs> I ain't staying in Jamaica. Then I just take on myself and then I just start to do some work, music, videos. Small shows, I like them something. Alright, so tell us a little bit about meditation, Connor. What made you want to share knowledge with the family? Meditation, Connor, you don't know. Big up bling. You don't know. Bling blang always I tell me say, yo, yo. It's like, you know, like when me I will a vibe with my brethren. If you if, if you don't have a conversation with me, you're not gonna see you're not gonna know the in-depth side of me. You're not gonna know how how a breast I am. You understand? Because I don't like talky talky and talk talk talk. So, 
when you get when you know me like that I may have a conversation you're not gonna get the typical on the surface reasoning so my friends and would have say yo brother people them need to know that side of you so that's how that me, me come up with that and then when we start to look where bad becomes the new good it's like it's like people people still have morals but is single when me I grew up morals was pure so my mother don't deal with my neighbor but me can't pass my neighbor and I said, man, in this, my mother beat me for my neighbor, beat me for somebody who she not talk to. Because you, you as a child, you have them principle in yourself. So now it's singular. Now it's like what I believe and what I think about myself. I don't want to share that with nobody else. So you find out, say, the bad becomes the new good where when people do good, it's like it distasteful now. You understand? So that is why, but I know people out there, if I understand the people out there, just become a, a, a product of their environment because the substance or the message where they get. And when they get too much negative message, then you have a negative society or a negative environment. So that's why I decide, because people still out there, because not because the noise of the market loud, that not means say, the product, you know, still have good product in the market. So I'm not really watching noise of the market, watch a product. Because when you go in our market, people will shout to you, but I know that you're going to buy, you're going to buy a product. So I just decide, say, you know what, I'm going to start to speak to people from a different angle, and trust me, I'm damn full up. Right now, people love me more for that more than music. <laughs> that is a therapy. <laughs> yeah. So, the entertainment industry in Jamaica is mm -hmm. on pause. How do you feel about that? And pause, well, that's why I fly out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this, you know, I always say it, you know, and I've been a said from the initial stage of my career where people take offense to it till I see people start to say it and do it, and them start to glorify people for it. See, when I start, I start to look into music and I say, yo, because I have distinction in business. I have distinction in the science and I have distinction in the business. So when I enter into, into music business and decide that, yo, what is missing from the business? We don't have people who want to be entrepreneurs and want to represent brands and, you know? So I decide that, you know what, I'm not seeing a man, I'm not seeing a rasta, I'm not seeing a body with locks, I said, I'm going to go corporate. So from there, I start to approach corporate, saying, and then now I get into corporate where I end up, over the period of time, I end up signing to like 14 corporate companies over a period of time. I'm the first artist who said, I'm going to go corporate. And you know, see nothing that happened after. Oh, really, really, and every big company, be me at the face for every big company, a boarding pass, a airport, my face up on it, the wall, a airport, everything. You never see that. Back again, from me, you never see that. So, when I see them things, they know I'm the first, me used to get a lot of screw people, just, you know, ridicule and say, yo, Rasta, you got corporate, but at the same time, you're born me, say, me a corporate Rasta, but who pay at the stage shows them? Who pay? You think a Johnny and Guzami thing, say, a rebel salute. These people, the corporate, that's why you're going to the stage where you see the banners there. Mm -hmm. So these people pay and uh, offset the cost. So a man might get a five million budget when me and a couple of the artists get pay out there. So I still the corporate people, them still a pay. But to, you don't know what's going behind closed door. You have to bond this and bond that. If it's your personal belief, then fine. But at the same time, you still have a wise. And the greatest thing is knowledge. So from me know them things from the initial stage, I decide say, you know what? <coughs> me gotta start do some do, do some different thing and I start do some different thing from, from the initial stage. So me been as a Jamaican music, especially reggae music, is the biggest music in the world, but it's not we wanna market good and we don't have an infrastructure. Zane, we don't have an infrastructure. We have, we, have, we have radio station in Jamaica who don't play reggae music. When you're going dance now, you don't hear reggae music no more. One time you used to hear the early segment of reggae songs. 
and then go into dance hall. That cut out totally. You know, I hear them something again. So how can I have a country where based upon reggae music and reggae music don't play? It play by the way. You will never go to Trinidad and don't hear soccer. You have times where them lock down the market for three, four months and it's only that you hear. See? So you can take up a rap song from America and play it religiously. But you know, play a reggae song. I, I, I can't fathom that. I don't that. So when I speak of is an like, like outspoken person, people take offense to it. But <clears throat> we don't have an infrastructure, so them, by the way, by the way, when tourism take the reggae music and them play it, and they will tell them and them do what them do and them play it, because it's beneficial to them right there. But out there, a man can just lock down. A man can just lock down music anytime. The government can just lock down music and don't care about the peanut, man. The stall man, the jerk chicken man, the man who sell the soup, all of them people who connected to the music, who survive and send them out of school. So a man can lock it down because this is not imperative to the country unless, unless election has come up and Muhammad dub or, or less this or less that or less that. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why the business can lock down. So you will never find America locked down in pop music, no time at all. Even if they don't keep the show, it will rotate. They make sure they keep money because this is a culture. So it's not celebrated that way. There. And we don't have an infrastructure where people can stand up and defend it and the right purpose and all of these things. So that's why our needs and our perspective and all these things are imperative to the system itself because there is no infrastructure put in place. That's why the majority of our artists them is like, a man I work on a construction site and him friend him saying bad. And him go to the one day and him get a hit song. And then him have to make that transition from a mason to an artist. You don't have them things in America or any different genre in the world. When you go into the world, an artist, him is a complete artist. Him know him point to all the time. Him know for cross T's and that eyes. Him is an intelligent person. Him know for do an interview. Him now put his when for put R. Him now, you know, brilliant. You, you can hear the, the, the brilliance within that person. You understand? So we have to grow. We have to grow. And then we as Jamaicans, we don't forgive. We deal about punishment. You understand? But what about the re rehabilitation and rehabilitated? You know what I mean? We punish people, but there's no medium or there's no segment for be, that person be re rehabilitated. So you punish the person, but it's a broken person still in a society. So you have to understand, so, so it's there. So I'm on the spas in music and a business, how the selector live or how the DJ live or how that live. A majority of you have no visa for left the country, so wag up. No investment. <laughs> Alright, so in your recent song next, you speak about men not spending on them girls. Mm -hmm. Women should get an allowance. Like literally allowance? Like an allowance. It depends upon the relationship where you have with that person. Mm -hmm. You understand? Depends upon the relationship you have with that person. Every woman every man every man every man buys sex, you know, directly or indirectly, you know. You go back road and you buy it direct, no strings attached, you get where you want, she collect her money and you go on where you go. Or you go and go to a club or you go somewhere, you go on and she get where you get. If you have a female you like her and then you and her become a partner, then you still take care of her indirectly, you pay the bills, then you cover the light, carry a note, rare, boom, bam, you go far and you carry something. So you're still a minor indirectly, you're still a pay feel. If that if you to find out that woman is vaginaless, then all of these needs that you're covering, you're gonna forget it. Can no matter how I love you as a woman, if you're vaginaless, me I cut. Because <laughs> nothing more than that for service me. So anyway, take it a man still pay for sex direct or indirect. I just put it on a brother's scale so people can see it. Seeing so. But me believe my mother of five of us and we grow that stepfather. None of we are not fame, but him take care of all of it. You understand? So me believe say so once you have if you're a girl, say you have hundred girls and you want them to be exclusive to you, then you're supposed to step up. Whatever needs are wants them, you're supposed to make sure so you, you cover that. Yeah. And it's naturally for a man. It's naturally for a man if you just take care of a woman. As a man, he's a king, you're supposed to just make sure whether you're a woman asleep or not. Any woman will come in contact with you. 
If them come in contact and them is a dust, when them are left, they should have turned them into gold. And the mentality they have as a man. Any woman come in contact with whether it's just a friendly relationship or just for inspiration or none of them things, they're supposed to make sure she turn into a goal when she leave. You understand? So, it's just like that. And then you have someone straightforward. If I don't know, I do. I guess that's why the ladies love the horror. Some more about influence the song makes. Me? It just, it, I just may say, just, 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 just the topics them and the, and the night, the life them women have. You know what I mean? Some man of course, a woman not forget nothing. And I don't believe in a woman who are not ambitious. And just sit, sit around and just feel like a man obligated to take care of you. That is nothing. Because you just contribute. You only come to the relationship with just sex. That's why I mentioned back road at the initial stage. If I just sex and, and that yeah, I do, then I know where I do, then I pay for it and I do what I do, and I go on where I go, and I go on where I go. But if we should be in something, then what is there? You must can even stimulate me in our conversation. You understand? So, and a woman don't necessarily have to have money. She has to just have potential. You understand? So, yeah. So that it starts from and we just decide to make her sing it. Thank you.